Hello everyone, my name is Simeon Banda. I am presenting a lesson in mathematics for primary six, term one, 2021. Today's topic, we are looking at circle part two. It is a continuation of the previous lesson, which was part one, and so this one is part two. And in this lesson, you are expected to learn the following. Uh, to measure the diameter and the radius. You are also expected to calculate diameter from given radius. You are also expected to calculate the radius from the given diameter. The knowledge that I expect you to have by now is measuring, that is length. You learnt length in primary four, primary five, primary two, down there. And also from primary one, you've been learning addition and subtraction. This is the knowledge that I expect you to have in this lesson. And also simple multiplication. And also simple division. Of course, with the uh, previous knowledge about the, um, the diameter and the radius, by now you know what they are. Let's proceed. In this lesson, I expect uh, to use the following uh, items as the resources for learning. These are the mathematical set which should have the following. So as a P6 student, you should have a mathematical set, uh, especially in this uh, lesson and other lessons that will be there uh, in, in, in your level. You have the pair of compass. This is the pair of compass. Uh, you should also have a pencil. You should also have, you are also expected to have the ruler because it all goes with calculating, I mean, uh, measuring. So you need all these things as your tools to work uh, out this lesson. Okay. Uh, we start with measuring diameter. How do we measure diameter? Just to remind ourselves that diameter is that long line which um, cuts across or which runs from one, uh, one end of the circle to the other outer end of the circle. That is the diameter. So how do you measure diameter? So to measure diameter of a circle, you follow the following steps. First, you draw a circle in any way of, um, according to the, 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 le the previous lesson, you draw a circle in any way, either using a pair of compass, you can also use uh, the, uh, the, the tracing method or the string method or any other method, you draw it. And then you should uh, take note of the center point and then put the ruler there, uh, draw the diameter. You know that now you have your diameter. Okay. Um, after doing that, after drawing the diameter, you place a ruler across. After drawing, you place um, your ruler across the diameter. I will show you how uh, it is done. And then you should make sure, as I earlier said in the previous lesson, that the, for a diameter to qualify to be a diameter, it should pass through the center point. So make sure that it passes through the center point. And then make sure also that the zero on the ruler, here is your ruler, here are the numbers here, uh, you have your ruler. The zero on the ruler should be 
should sit or should lie straight or against the outer line of the circumference and then check where the other end of the diameter uh, is, uh, is. At what number is it? At what reading is it? Okay, then you read that number. So to briefly explain this one, this is the illustration. Okay, so this is the illustration. I said the first thing is you draw a circle which has been done here. And then the second thing is drawing the, uh, the, uh, the, the diameter from here. Uh, my, my drawing isn't that clear, but there is A. You can even mark them. This is A. This is the center. Uh, the center point is B. And then the last point is C. You can mark them as such. So mark them, draw a line, and mark them. Then the next thing now is... Uh, the next thing is you place your ruler on that paper. As I said, as you can see that... The zero, uh, the, the zero mark is on the circumference at the beginning of the uh, diameter. And then read, where is it ending there? So when you look at this one, according to uh, this illustration, our reading, I think if you can read, uh, if you can come closer to the screen, you see that there is a reading. What is the reading of the diameter? You find that it is 8, it, because it is resting on 8. And what about the measurement or the reading for radius? We said radius is the, the, the line which is from the center to the circumference. So from the center to the circumference, check on, the, on, on this illustration, from the center to the circumference or from the circumference to the center, what number is it? Or what reading is it showing? It is four centimeters. So from the explanation, you can easily see that the diameter is half, uh, uh, the radius is half of the diameter. If the diameter is eight, then the radius is Four, because 4 is half of 8. Suppose you have the diameter 10. What is half of 10? Half of 10 is, yes, 5. So 5 is the radius for, uh, for the diameter, which is 10. Okay, so let's uh, proceed with the lesson. We have known how to measure the radius. And also we have known how to measure the diameter because um, we've said that the diameter is that line which is running across and then the radius is half of that line. Let's proceed. Okay, the next step now, we move on to uh, calculating diameter. How do we calculate diameter? How do we calculate diameter? From the pictures, uh, you have seen that uh, the diameter of that circle is 8. That is from circumference on A. I, I, I mentioned that my, uh, my drawing from A at the beginning here to B is the, uh, the radius, and from A to C is the, uh, the diameter. So from circumference A to point B, to the center point B is 4. So meaning the radius is 4. Okay, so to explain diameter, we can come with the formula to say diameter equals to radii. Radii is the plural for Radius. Radius is one. Two or more are called radii. So two radii, they make one diameter. 
which is the same, another uh, formula, you can say two times radius. Two times radius. So it is the diameter also. Or you can say radius plus radius. It gives you the same answer to diameter. Just like in the, in, in, in the drawings, uh, we saw there was four as the radius, and then the other part, the other side, there was four. So if here it is four, and then the other side also it is four. So these are two radiuses. You can say radius plus radius equals diameter. I hope you are getting there. Okay. So that is how we calculate diameter. Let's see this example. What is the diameter if the radius is 3 centimeters? What is the diameter of a circle if the radius is 3? So you say radius you don't know. That is a formula now. Okay. And then you say, uh, diameter, you don't know. Radius, you know it. Diameter, you don't know. Radius, you know it. And what is it that you know? Three. Because you have been given in the question that if the radius is three. So you say, diameter equals two times radius. Then you continue to say, diameter equals two times you place this number which you have been given for diameter 3. So you say 2 times 3. So radius is 2 times 3. So those are simple mathematics. What is 2 times 3? Yes, you got it correct. 6. 2 times 3 is 6. So the diameter of that uh, measurement of that circle, if the radius is 3, the diameter will be 6 because you just... Uh, repeat that number. You can say uh, 3 plus 3, or you can say 3 times 2, or you can say uh, uh, repeat the 3 twice. It will be 6. Okay, so you can try more on your own in your rough book, in your practice book. If the radius is 4, I mean, if your radius is, uh, is 2, what would be the diameter, the same procedure. You just say 2 plus 2. So the radius is 4. Good. Okay. And then um, if the, the radius is 5, what do you do? Yes, you are trying it correctly. It's 5 plus 5. Or you can say 5 times 2, which is the same, 10. Now, suppose the radius is 8. What is the diameter? Good. 8 plus 8. So, your answer is 16. And also, if the radius is 6, you just add 6. You say 6 plus 6. You get the diameter. So, it will be 12 centimeters. Okay, we proceed and see how to calculate radius now. We have known how to calculate diameter to say we just have to add the radius twice or you multiply the radius times two, you get the diameter. Now, how do you find the radius? The opposite is the same. Very simple. Using the pictures that you were given earlier, um, you saw that the diameter was 8 centimeters. The diameter was 8 centimeters. So if the diameter was 8 centimeters, then the, the, the radius was half of 8, which is 4. So you can say that radius is half of diameter. That's the formula. You are given the, radi the, the diameter, just divide it by half. Or just divide it by two. It will be uh, that it will be your radius. Let's see. Example. 
What is the radius if the diameter of a circle is 12 centimeters? What is the radius if the diameter is 12? So what is half of 12? They are simply saying what is half of 12? Radius, you don't know. Diameter, we know, 12. So you say radius equals diameter divided by 2. Radius equals diameter is what? 12. So you say 12 divided by 2. And then what is 12 divided by 2? 12 divided by 2 is 6. So the radius of a circle where the diameter is 12 is 6. The, uh, the, the radius will be 6 if the diameter is 12. Okay. You can try more examples. What about if the diameter is 6? What would be the radius? Just divide that one. 6 divided by 2. You get it correct. You, you, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, uh, two, uh, that, that's 3. 6 divided by 2 is 3. What about if the diameter is 10 centimeters? Half of 10? 5. What if the diameter is 14 centimeters? Half of 14 is 7 centimeters. What if the diameter is 20 centimeters? The radius would be half of 20, which is 10. Okay, having done that, you can practice more and more numbers and see how to calculate diameter and radius. To conclude the lesson, in this lesson you have learned how to measure diameter and radius. In this lesson you have also known how to calculate diameter. You said um, just multiply radius by 2, you get the diameter. And also to calculate the uh, radius, you just divide ra uh, diameter by 2. So that's it. If you have gotten it, let's try to practice. In your practice book, draw some circles and measure them using a ruler. You can also practice to calculate diameters if the red eye are given as five centimeters, seven centimeters. So what would be the diameter? Remember the method. Also try to calculate the red dye if the diameters given are four centimeters, 12 centimeters. You can also add some numbers. So for today, I say thank you so much for watching. I hope you have enjoyed part two of the lesson circle. As for now, keep on practicing your work. Ask your parents, ask your brothers, sisters to work together. But don't forget to remain at home, sanitize, wash your hands with soap, and also mask up. When you are with people, always observe social distancing to fight the pandemic COVID-19. Bye-bye.